Welcome to Beer Nothing's Chug, a finger snap quick detailing of all the beer news from last week that you may have missed. Now we don't want you to go wasting your rage on only the big stories, so we blast back through these highlights to get you good and pissed one last time, so you can move on to the new shit that'll piss you off this week. I'm Samuel Sly, here are your headlines. A dude in Wisconsin gets locked into a convenience store's beer fridge and opts to drink beer all night. Now, he allegedly was locked in the freezer for about six hours, or just long enough to drink an 18-ounce bottle of beer and three cans of malt liquor. That's it? Ha! I remember my first time being locked in a beer cooler. Or don't I? Constellation Brands, a.k.a. the owner of Corona and the overpayer of breweries like Ballast Point, will be paying out the nose for a minority stake in the world's biggest cannabis producer. Now, you think Ballast Point's IPAs are dank now? Just you wait until you take a sip of the bottle and then exhale smoke. Vape life. Fast food, ch- fast food chains like Taco Bell are starting to serve alcohol to attract crowds. Not that they need to. Ironically, statistics show that Taco Bell could only serve approximately 33% of their customer base as the remaining 77% were already massively overserved. Hence why they're there. Some people just learned that Sam Adams' Utopias is a, is a thing and illegal in 12 states, as reported by foodandwine.com. The TLDR here is the beer is released every two years or so, typically clocks in around 28%, and retails at $200. Ah. Our suggestion, since anything more than a few ounces is too much, pay entry to a festival like Big Beers, Belgians, and Barley Wines in January. Have it there. Then you can follow it up with a good beer to wash the taste out of your mouth. Now lastly, Canadian beer miler Corey Bellamore has once again broken his own world record in the beer mile. This dude's a freak of nature and I love him. This time, the quick Canuck ran the four laps and slammed the four beers in four minutes and 33.6 seconds, one second faster. There are no words to describe elite athleticism like this, so we're just going to go with bad ass. That's recap. This week's chug is brought to you by Odd 13's Noob Pale Ale, a cloudy, hoppy joy. Go back next week. If I don't piss you off this week. I think I'm actually getting worse at these. <laughs> you thought that was all right. Why don't you give us a subscribe on the old YouTube channel here. It's Tune In Get Drunk. We do weekly chugs. We do other video stuff. And it's usually stupid. Probably entertaining. Things that you wouldn't want your mom to see.